Good afternoon. Um, my name is Deirdre Ryan, and I'm from Mary Immaculate College. Um, and my colleague Geraldine Brosnan wasn't able to be with us today, so I'll just take the helm. And it's always hard to follow Mark because they are kind of really ahead of the game, I think, in, in what they're doing. Um, so. I suppose, first of all, just to say that I work in the Centre for Teaching and Learning at Mary Immaculate College. And over the last two years, I've been working particularly within the blended learning unit. So I guess once you do that, when you're designing blended and online courses, you get to see all this data coming in from through the VLE. And then I started to think, and my colleague uh, David Maloney, what could we do with this data? Um, and just finding out more about learning analytics, really. Um, so. I'm hoping if I press it goes. So I like this um, quote from Slade and Prinsloo, and it's that is, education is primarily a moral practice, not a causal one. And therefore, learning analytics should function primarily as a moral practice resulting in understanding rather than measuring. And we've been having those discussions at the table <laughs> today, how you know measurement, the student experience, actually, how do you measure that? Because in some ways, what we're talking about a lot today is about engagement rather than actual learning. So um, I suppose Dr. Keith Hampson would talk about um, three different types of analytics. You have your institutional, I suppose tracking the learners over the course of their, um, their time in college. Then you have the engagement, which we have been doing a bit of really in Mary Eye and only touching the surface of. And also then I suppose if you think of it, the, where we're really wanting to get to is how we measure actual learning. Um, and I think that's where we're all gonna you know, benefit from, from, from talking to each other. Um, so in terms of Mary I then, as I said, we were really only kind of scratching the surface in terms of engagement, but we, um, <clears throat> we, we used Moodle at a very simple level with activity completion and with badges. And what we did was for 200 uh, first year psychology students, we had them take um, three week slots where they had to um, watch videos, do some activities, and then at the end of the three weeks they would get a badge worth 5% of the course. So in doing that then we were able to actually track who was actually engaging and also try to promote self-regulation with them so they had to get this work done within the three weeks to get the badge. And so it allowed us to see those who were doing everything those who suddenly, and I think you mentioned this this morning, in the idea that maybe somebody stops suddenly doing their work. Why is that happening? And also, it's gone down a little bit, those who aren't engaging at all. And so, are they just gone? Have our systems not just told us? Or are they just, you know, have partied all through the semester? And so we need to know. And that's where our retention and our looking after our students and finding out what's going on with them. And it's only a simple system, but it can help with that on a modular level. We're doing it at the moment. We'd like to go forward and use it, I suppose, at, a, you know, course levels as well. Um, so then in terms of, these are just a few graphs, but the, the graph that's interesting is this one, which was the badge completion. So we, what we were after was self-regulation and getting them to complete the work maybe over the course of the three weeks rather than, as you can see in the beginning, 155 of them decided to wait till the last week and then they were going to do all the work and probably realistically they did it in about two or three days, uh, you know. So over the time we were hoping to see more engagement over weeks one and two. Now we started to see it in the second section then we got to the third section and there was a massive drop, but what we call St. Patrick's Week as opposed to St. Patrick's Day happened. So you get this idea of what's happening. And then they started to engage more. So we got a little bit more self-regulation. They began to realize, some of the students said if they did it earlier, it was done and they didn't have to worry about it. The other graphs are just to show that this was a two-week intensive module that some of our uh, first year students take for psychology. The very peak at the beginning is the orientation session we would have given them. It's very, very important that they understand why are they on the VLE, how do I use it properly, otherwise the analytics really, um, I suppose you don't, you know, it doesn't make sense to them. So you can see that they worked kind of consistently, the dip in the middle would have been the weekend, they had to have the work in on Friday, again you're promoting self-regulation. And down here was just the regular 12-week module where they had MCQs and you can see they're very strategic in what they do because uh, obviously the peaks are when the MCQ is on. So that just gives you an idea of, I suppose, how, you know, we, we have on a small level looked at engagement, but what I'm really interested in is the learning analytics and I suppose this is a real exciting start to be here today and hopefully get to talk to people. Thank you.